हेलो एवरीवन टुडे आई एम हियर विथ अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग टॉपिक जेनेटिक्स व्हिच इज द थर्ड यूनिट ऑफ इंटरमीडिएट सेकंड ईयर बॉटनी सो बिफोर गोइंग इनटू द टॉपिक आई वुड लाइक टू आस्क अ फ्यू क्वेश्चंस टू यू आर यू रेडी यस हैव यू एवर वंडर्ड व्हाई एन एलिफेंट ऑलवेज गिव्स बर्थ टू अ बेबी एलिफेंट एंड व्हाई नॉट एनी अदर एनिमल और व्हाई अ मैंगो सीड always gives rise to a mango plant and why not any other plant given that they do are the offspring similar to their parents or do they show some differences in their characters have you ever wondered why siblings sometimes they are so identical to each other and sometimes they are so even so different from each other all these and any many other related questions are dealt with in a branch of biology called as genetics so what is genetics it is a branch of biology that deals with the study of genes heredity and genetic variation it is a branch of biology that deals with the study of genes heredity and genetic variations this genetic deals with inheritance and variation of characters inheritance as well as variation of characters from parents to progeny inheritance is the process by which characters pass on from parents to progeny this is the basis of heredity and variation is a degree by which the progeny differs from their parent here let's know some history about genetics grigor john mendel was the first to study genetics scientifically grigor john mendel he is regarded as the father of genetics who is the father of genetics grigor john mendel is the father of genetics he was born on 22nd july 1822 in around 1850s he started his experiments on the transmission of hereditary traits in plant hybrids he published all his results of the studies made by him under the title experiments on plant hybrids experiments on plant hybrids the observations he made while growing the pea plants in his garden laid the foundations for the study of heredity and modern genetics let's see mendel's experiments in detail it was during the mid 19th century where mendel conduct, mendel conducted his experiments he conducted hybridization experiments on garden pea plant for 7 years and he proposed laws of inheritance During his experiments he used the mathematical logic and statistical analysis in biology for the first time he selected 14 true breeding pea plant varieties as pairs which were similar in all the characters except for one character which is which has contrasting trait so some of the contrasting traits he selected were here the character and here are the contrasting traits stem height tall dwarf flower color violet or white flower position axial or terminal pod shape inflated or constricted pod color green or yellow seed shape round or wrinkled seed color yellow or green here these characters are considered as dominant characters and these characters are considered as recessive these are dominant and these are recessive so remember this simple table is going to help you throughout the genetics unit reasons for the selection of pea plant for hybridization experiments advantages of selecting pea plant for hybridization experiments by mendel here are the five reasons for his selection first one 
the life cycle is very short it completes its life cycle in 3 to 4 weeks if the life cycle is very short means we can study the more and more generations and if we study more and more generation in very short time the results will be authentic next point is it can be grown and crossed easily the pea plant can be grown easily and it can be cross pollinated very easily it has bisexual flowers containing both male and female parts next it can be self fertilized it can be self fertilized as well it has a short life cycle and produces large number of offsprings so it will be easy for the studies as well as for the experiments here we have discussed about the history of genetics definition of genetics and history of john Gregan Men Gregor mendel that is the father of genetics his experiments and his uh, selection of traits contrasting traits and selection of pea plants for his hybridization experiments in my next video we are going to discuss about the remaining topics monohybrid cross linkage mutation loss of inheritance etc thank you all